Well, good Friday morning. Welcome to another Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Christmas is going to be here before you know it. Fact is, it'll be here and gone before you know it. And I hope that as we draw closer to Christmas Day, that we as Christians will realize each day anew just what Christmas is really all about. Now, I remember the excitement of, of it as, that I had as a child as Christmas was drawing near, you know, getting up the Christmas tree and the decorations around the house. And I can't say that I really enjoyed all the Christmas programs that we had to participate in. Uh, I guess looking back, they weren't as bad as I thought they were at that time. But, uh, you know, I almost always was a shepherd or a wise man without any speaking part. And and I didn't really enjoy putting on a somebody's bathrobe and wrapping a towel around my head and carrying a stick that somebody had wired a hook of some sort over the top of to make it look like a shepherd's crook. I don't remember enjoying that. I remember one year, and I believe I was either junior high or high school age, our little church there in Boonville was having a Christmas play. And uh, short on girls that day, I had to wear a dress and sit there like I was a woman. I certainly didn't like that uh, part of Christmas that year. But, uh, you know, we take it as life as it comes. And the excitement generally was greater than any of the activities that we did not particularly enjoy being a part of. And I hope that I never lose the excitement of Christmas. Of course, then, as I say, it was basically, you know, what's going to be under the tree for me. And uh, yet today, I know that it has far deeper meaning than that. And the excitement of Christmas goes a lot deeper than just the presents that are going to be wrapped and under our tree. Uh, Christmas is all about presents, but it's the P-R-E-S E-N-C-E -E presents, not the P-R-E-S-E-N-T-S -E presents. Christmas is the presence of Christ. And we boil it all up just simply with the term God with us. And you know, I've been enjoying reading about the promise of the, of the Messiah, the promise of the Savior, even back in the very beginning of the Bible, following Adam and Eve's sin. We know that God promised a Savior someone that would come and atone for the sins of mankind. And I like to read the prophecies of the Old Testament prophets as they uh, told about a coming Savior. You know, the prophecy of Isaiah and some of those others is an exciting prophecy. Even in the Psalms, we find many of the promises and prophecies of the coming Messiah. And I think we need to be excited about Christmas because of uh, the fact that uh, the prophecy and the promises have been fulfilled. Not one word of his promise has ever failed. If God promised a Savior, surely he would provide a Savior. Not one word of, of his prophecy has ever failed. And you know, God's prophets have portrayed uh, so many things so very accurately that we just can't uh, even begin to doubt God's word, uh, because the prophecies have been so beautifully and wonder wonderfully fulfilled. And when I think about the promise that God gave and the prophecies uh, that he gave concerning the birth of Jesus Christ, uh, I think that we ought to be excited because it tells us one important thing. It tells us that God loved us too much to let us be lost. And you know, I think it's all summed up in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And when I read of the prophecies and the promises of a coming Savior, and then when I turn over to the New Testament, read the beautiful Christmas story, read the account of the life of Christ, Note the, the accounts of his death and his resurrection. It tells me one thing. It tells me that God loved us so much that he wanted to redeem fallen man. So what it's really all about is God's love for us in promising, foretelling, and fulfilling the prophecies and the promises of Jesus coming to save sinners. I'm glad for Jesus today. That Christmas means that God loved us enough that he gave us his only begotten son that we might have life and that we might have it eternal. Well, let's pray and thank God for the gift of his son. 
the real meaning of Christmas. Heavenly Father, we thank Thee that we can open our Bibles and read where those have prophesied a coming Savior. We can read the promises of God concerning a promised Savior. We're so thankful, Lord, that those prophecies and promises were fulfilled one night on a, on, on, uh, one night in a little town of Bethlehem where Jesus was born in that manger. Lord, we do know it was the gift of God's love. We stand in awe of how God should love a sinner such as I, but we thank Thee for Your love that brought us salvation through Jesus Christ. Go with us throughout this day. Keep alive the real meaning of the season. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Well, thanks for letting us share. Thank God for his wonderful love for fallen man today. See you tomorrow on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.